Welcome back, Minecraft Java Edition players that like to play Minecraft Java Edition with their PC handheld, such as the Asus Rogue Ally X, for example. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to install some basic mods and everything like that so that you can enjoy using mods inside of your Minecraft world. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out my playlist for Java Minecraft on your PC handheld because I'm going to be going through a whole bunch of stuff to actually teach you how to play on your device like this, whether it's an Asus Rogue Ally X, Asus Rogue Ally, a Legion Go, a a Neo Next Lite, or anything of the sort. Because, yeah, it, it plays really well when you actually use a controller and you can do other things. So, let's leave this game. I ended up showing you guys how to set up a controller and everything like that in my very first video, which is basically allowing you to use other mods, which is what we're gonna do today. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate back to Modrinth. I downloaded Modrinth with you guys. If you guys are here for Forge mods, make sure to check out my playlist for just Forge mods. They are in a full playlist. You can use my videos for whatever you wanna use them for. So inside of Modrinth, we're gonna click on install content, and then you're going to see a list of mods that are right here. Now, the very cool thing that Modrinth does for us automatically is it actually selects the game version based off the game version that we installed. You can also set up things like filters and categories for like cursed mods if you want to, decorative mods, and so on and so forth. So I like to use some cursed mods like Vein Miner, for example. And the big thing about Vein Miner is that some mods will automatically download the necessary dependencies and libraries for you to be able to use those mods. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know why, it's not downloading the Kotlin mod that you actually need or the Kotlin library that you actually need. So I'm gonna let you know that there will be errors sometimes and sometimes the errors won't be straightforward and won't tell you exactly what's going on. But when it comes to fabric, usually it'll have a pop-up message saying, hey, you forgot something for this specific mod. And the reason why I like vein miner mod is because it's pretty you know, good at actually mining the whole vein. What that does is basically picks like if you're digging out some copper or some iron or something like that, it actually grabs the whole vein of that actual ore, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on play. And I'm going to show you what happens when it gives you an error. Sometimes it says, hey, this will pop up on the screen and say you need to install Fabric Language Kotlin for it to work. Mod still call requires this and so does vein miner. So basically this message will pop up But sometimes this message doesn't pop up and your game just completely crashes and that's because of Different incompatible mods. So how can you check that? Well, you can basically look at your logs and keep an eye on your logs It also tells you in your logs what's going on as well If you ever have any issues and stuff like that because it will say inside of here Hey, you're missing something if you actually pay attention to the actual what is necessary you can also use google you can use reddit people on reddit and google do help people out sometimes but what i'm going to do here now is i'm actually going to go to my search and i'm going to type in kotlin okay and there it is right there all i have to do is click install and there's the fabric language kotlin and go back to my instance which is my mod pack that we created in the very first video with a controller and we should be able to use the vein miner mod now now I'm gonna install some other stuff here. So basically some other cursed mods and stuff like that. And just kinda, you know, get it all set up and ready to go because it's actually pretty self-explanatory when you start using these mods. Now the very big thing about this is that you don't see a mod menu or anything here. And that's one big thing that we're going to install as well. So on the very first page, you'll be able to see that we can install mod menu, which is right here. Now, this isn't a video about sodium or anything like that. I will have a separate video about sodium and what that all is and stuff, as you can see it on the main page. But I'm just going to install a couple other mods, like Xero's Minimap and uh, maybe enough animations and some Collective, because Collective is good for uh, basically using the Tree Harvester mod, which I'm going to install in a few seconds, and also Simple Voice Chat, good for talking to people, Lambient Lights, very good for shadows of your lights and stuff like that, so you can see in the dark, that's one mod that people use a lot, like myself, 
sound physics makes the ambient sounds in the caves and everything like that and even in the overworld sound a lot better i love it i love it so much that i could kiss it now the next thing i'm going to do is just kind of go through all these pages now of course if you're looking for specific mods like i'm going to do in a second like the tree harvester mod you can go back to page one make sure you go back to page one type in what the mod name is and the reason why i say page one is because if i go to page two it's not going to show what's the, the the actual mod is so it's kind of not a straightforward search engine but it will you know search it out if it is in page one so click on install and then if you don't see the mod that you're actually looking for then keep scrolling through and maybe it is on page two there's falling trees that's a good mod too it's kind of similar to the tree harvester mod where the tree actually just falls over now another one that we can actually search for is basically um, I think that was it, maybe? Oh, Zoomify. Zoomify was another one I want to search for as well. I like Zoomify. Now, what if you want to add mods that are not on here and they are available outsourced from somewhere else? So what I mean by that is uh, the From the Fog mod right now, they're basically allowing you to download From the Fog from their Discord and Coffee or Ko-Fi. So you would only be able to do this if you knew where to go so that's why i'm going to show you that right now so the three dots right here we're going to click on that click on open folder and then maximize this window and now you have access to your actual mod pack that you've created so as you can see down here on the bottom left hand side whoop not mod pa resource pack sorry mods that's all those mods that we just installed so now you can manually add those mods inside of here so if you have a mod that's not you know available on modrinth or it's only available on curseforge for example you could add that mod in here and make sure it's compatible with fabric so that is one big thing that people get confused about when they use Modrinth is that, hey, I have a mod from friend Jimmy or something, and where do I put it? Well, that's where you put it. And that's basically the same thing as mod packs, but I'll get into a video about that later on down the road. So the next thing you need to do is just exit that. Now you know where to actually navigate to your mods. You can press play and enjoy using all of these mods in every single way. Yeah, I, I like to rhyme things sometimes. Just just get over it, okay? But that's about it, about mods. You don't really need to know much, much more about how to use mods and how to install them. And that, I think I've covered mostly everything you really need to know to understand how to install them outside of Modrinth as well, which you can definitely do without a single issue or a clue. Yeah, it, it, well, you've got a clue now because I told you how to do it. So, as you can see here, guys, I should be able to use the Tree Harvester mod, and it should work perfectly fine. Now, the one thing that I did say is that the mod menu now, um, it does allow you to actually look at your mods and edit your mods. So, what I'm going to do here first is I'm just going to make myself a axe, just to show you that I can do this. And I'm going to chop down this tree. Okay, I'm going to chop down this tree. This tree is going to just drop all the stuff. And as you saw, it dropped a sapling right away, and I don't want it to do that. So I can go into the mod and actually edit stuff like that, and that's only if the mod allows me to do so. So as you can see here, it dropped that sapling. I'll go into my mods menu, which is showing up here now, and I can actually go and edit certain mods. So even like the simple voice chat mod, you might have to go in here, click on I know what I'm doing, click on confirm, and go back into the menu again for whatever reason. I don't know why it always kicks you out for that mod, but go into the settings and you can actually, you know, change what buttons you will actually want to be set up for pushing to talk, for example. So if I want to set my back button, for example, to push to talk for whatever reason inside of my gamepad mode controller, I would have to go into my armory crate and change my back buttons to be bound to something. So I can change whatever buttons I want. So if I want it to be my, my right joystick, for example, then I can change that. So it's just all about what your actual uh, <laughs> what your actual buttons are set to. But because we are using Controlify, for example, um, this is not allowing me to actually set it to specific buttons. But I'm going to set it to uh, P. Okay. Let's see if it allows me to press P. 
There we go. And now I would have to set one of my back buttons, for example, on this device to the letter P so that I could talk. Now, this will also allow you to actually select your microphone. So I'm just gonna select this one, make sure it's selected, select my speakers that I want it to actually go out to. So I'm gonna use my actual device speakers, not my Ugreen uh, capture card device. And you can change your actual audio and all that kind of stuff. But again, this isn't really a video about how to use voice chat with this, but I just thought I'd show you that. Now, what I was gonna show you is this tree harvester. So I can go to settings and as it says here, uh, can you use the tree harvester without sneak? Sure, I wanna use it without sneak. Do I want to uh, add saplings after I tree harvest? No, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna click done and now that has saved that configuration. And now if I actually just chop down this tree, which I don't have to sneak anymore to do, then it shouldn't be dropping that sapling either and the sapling is just gonna be dropped into my inventory. So you can change some things with other mods and stuff like that as well so that you get a better experience, but that's really about it. That's how you install mods. And I hope you guys enjoy, like, and subscribe and enjoy playing Minecraft Java Edition on your Asus Rogue Ally or your Asus Rogue Ally X or your Legion Go or whatever device you want to because you can use a controller even on your PC if you have one.